watch you guys got another video here for you on 10 useful free websites you should know about so the first one is photopea photopea just works like photoshop but it's a free online uh, photoshop lookalike which you can use to edit your photos basically uh, you can add a photo to here and do your edits i'll show you a quick simple demonstration of how good this is so i'm going to zoom in on this photo here you can see there's some dust damage on here and some marks you can go to the spot healing brush here and this will allow you to remove all of these marks on your photo here just like i'm doing here just as you would do with say for instance photoshop but the difference is this is a free online version which you can use to do all your fancy photo editing and once you've finished editing all your photos or retouching them up you can save them and export them and do what you want with them so I'll quickly speed this process up here. And you can see I've just done a quick edit here and made that image look much more sharper and much more cleaner. And you can export this to, say, PNG and save it to wherever you like. Very simple and easy to do. Now, the next website I want to show you is MyHeritage. They've got a really cool little feature on their website, which is free to use, which is basically putting some animation to your image. Now I've uploaded that image to their website and it's doing some animation here and it's going to use AI to literally bring that picture to life. And as you can see there, it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty cool the way it's do doing it. And uh, yeah, and it's free to use. So if you've got a little image you want to bring a bit of life to, then you can use that uh, AI there on their website for free. And I'll leave all the links for these in the video description. Next up, Pixabay. Pixabay has tons of images which you can use for free as long as you read the terms and conditions of the photo or image that you want to use. Let's say, for instance, this woman here. We can click on here and you can see here, free for commercial use. No attribution is required. That means you can use that on your videos or you can use them in your um work or something like that you can use those on a commercial basis as well and they also do loads of other types of uh, images on here whether it be for pcs or whatever it is you're looking at they also do vectors and they do uh, videos as well 4k video all sorts of stuff so short clips on videos if you want a little small clip on something you can use their videos as well as long as you check uh, the requirements for usage of that image or video or vector then you should be okay as long as it ties in for what you're trying to do with it and it's following their guidelines then you should be okay and that is uh the pixabay very very useful site uh, for content creators next up we're going to use the remove image background now i was doing a video on this many moons ago but i just wanted to add it in this collection because if you don't use photoshop or anything like that this is a really quick way of removing a background as you can see here very quick and easy to do and it's quite a complex image and you can see it's just remove those now to download this version here you can download a smaller version uh, as you can see here and uh, basically from here you can change the background you can erase and restore so the background you can add your own background in here some of the default backgrounds they've got here you can just change them up so if you wanted to do something very quickly you can do here um, but if you wanted to touch it up or restore stuff maybe it's not cleaned it quite as well as you want to you can use the erase and restore tool it's not the best but it does help uh, to clean this up it does give you a bunch of different versions of it as well you can change the strength of the erase and restore as well here i'll just quickly show you here i'll just put it on erase and remove this shoulder here and you can see here the re restore you can just paint it back in you got to be careful because if you go too far it will uh, put the original background in and then you'll have to go back to erase and remove that area just like so now for a small fee you can download the hd version it's not free but you have to sign up and then you can add some credits to it it's not a lot of money it's a few cents to download the hd version um, but it's worth doing if you use this particular type of site a lot and you can sign up and get uh, the the higher definition ones but if the low definition are okay for you for certain projects then by all means you can use it let's try one more here you can see how quick and easy that was to remove 
the background on that image there and it was quite a complex image takes no time at all so very useful site remove uh, bg i'll leave all the links in the video description so you can go to those sites let's move on to another website uup dump it has tons of images on here updates images for windows and stuff like that you can download them directly from this site very very useful site for downloading updates and stuff so check it out um, i'll sh quickly show you basically what you can do here if you wanted to you can download the windows 11 iso from here it will pull these all off of the microsoft servers as well so you can see here basically select which ones you want but again if depending on what you're trying to do on this site i'll leave the links in the video description you can check them out it's got uh, some really useful uh, downloads on here for people that work in the it industry so very useful indeed now basically this is how it works here you click on an item that you want to download and you can choose your language for that item and then you can click on the next button to move on to the next stage of the download now this doesn't actually download the iso from this site what it's doing is it gives you the package to download from here which is the the batch file and you can run that and it will go off and pull it down from the microsoft servers here so let me quickly just show you hit the next button here once you hit the next button it will move on to the next stage once you choose your language hit next and you'll see uh, what you want to keep here so you can keep all of the ticks inside here you can install windows team and also uh, windows pro home you can remove all those and just have the home version here click next and you can choose your uh, method download method here and you can also choose uh, some other options available to you once you've got all your options available you can click create download package and uh, once you do that it will then bring that package down and you can use it so you can install and use a solid esd uh, compression or you can have it download the .NET framework and all that sort of stuff and add that into inside the download so let's just hit the create download package here this will download the package and you can open this uh, zip file up and once you open the zip file up it will have some files inside here and these will generally be uh, the files that you're going to use to download uh, the iso so this is it here and you can see here download it's just a batch file you can open it and read it in uh, editor if you want to to see what it's doing but it's basically going off to microsoft servers and downloading uh, that iso for you uh, from there so very useful website next up we've got the online uh, pdf editor now this is a free website which allow you to uh, edit your pdf file so if you've got a pdf file that you want to edit and you want to make some changes to it you can do it by using the online pdf editor uh, from this website here so basically this is a pdf uh, file here if i wanted to change some text or i wanted to change uh, put a logo on there or maybe put some different boxes on here with some text you can do if you want to remove stuff you can do that also by highlighting this and you can see up the top there's a menu there that you can use to make your edits you can highlight these and cover them over like so if you want to or you can delete them and you can add links in here basically edit the uh, file to what you need and once you've got all your files that you want you can add text in here let me just quickly add a text in here so you can see how this is i'm not going to spend too much time on this this is basically a video in itself but you can see here you can add some text in and that will be now in there you can make that a link or whatever you want to do and uh, once you've finished what you're doing with your edits you can then basically save and uh, apply changes and it will apply changes and save those and you can then use that pdf on there so let me just quickly apply this and you'll see so keep these changes and there we go so we've now got our pdf here edited and that's basically how you can edit your pdf files online for free very quick and easy to do next up have i been pwned it's a very useful website you put your email address inside here and click on pwned and what that will do is it will tell whether your email address has been basically breached or whether your information has been leaked out on the internet so if you've used your particular email address you can see here canva and apollo and another site here teespring you can see that these sites were breached and they lost quite a lot of data by someone um, hacking them and basically exposing all the data included on those websites which will be your username passwords 
and stuff like that. So if you do see your uh, email address has been breached, then it's advisable to go and change your username and password on those websites. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the 10 minute mail. Now this is very useful. It's a free temporary uh, email that you can use to sign up to websites. Say for instance, it's just a junk website that you're not going to use very often and you just want to quickly go on there and get some access. You can use one of these 10 minute emails. These are throwaway emails, basically. It does give you an inbox to approve it. So basically you just set it up on here, put that email address in and basically go to the inbox on that website and approve it. And then it will say, yep, that's uh, been approved. And now you'll get access to the website and you've registered using a 10 minute throwaway email. You can get more than 10 minutes if you wish, if you wish to use it more, but you can basically use that as a throwaway uh, email. Next up, we've got Patch My PC. Patch My PC has been around for a while. It's basically going to allow you to download some software, install it on your system, and it will check for outdated programs and other things like that. It will also show up red if it's outdated. It will show up green if it's been updated, and if it's not installed, it will be black. It also allows you to download common programs and install them on your system. So as you can see here, I can download programs from inside here. It's telling me that Google Chrome is outdated and I need to update it. So basically it's showing up red. So when I click uh, one app to install, that is the update that needs to be updated. If I want to install some programs, maybe some programs that I use on a regular basis, you can go into their database here and put ticks in the ones you want to install and it will automatically sign and install those and download them. You've got all the Microsoft Visual C++ which are very useful for gamers and stuff like that. You can download them all from inside this uh, Patch My PC updater. Very useful indeed. You just put the ticks in the ones you want, click install, and away you go. So you've got some other bits inside here. Gamers might use Steam or Origin and things like that. You can go straight on here and it will do a silent install of those as well. So TeamSpeak, Skype, you can see all the goodies there. Also browsers and stuff like that. So we're going to quickly update our uh, Google Chrome here and basically what that's going to do is go off and start to download the latest version from Google and download and install it on our system. Once it's finished downloading and installing it's basically going to turn it green and say it's fully updated and that's what the importance of this program is because it keeps all your installed programs up to date. So it's a bit like a package manager really. So you can see here that's now gone green and it's fully updated. Very useful for technicians or people that like to keep all their stuff updated. This just takes care of it. Pretty good bit of software. So next up, we're taking a look at secure password generator. You can change the length of your password. I've got 16 characters here, but you can see here include symbols, numbers, lowercase, uppercase, exclude similar characters. Uh, you can take the tick out of those if you wish. Um, you can remove other bits and pieces or add things in. You can make the password as complex as you want. And basically, once you're happy with your selection, you can click on generate password, and this will then generate a really complex password. And basically, once you use this, no hacker or bit of malware or anything like that's gonna be able to fish that bit of password out of you. Now, you might need to store these on a place where you can remember them, like some sort of password manager that uh, stores those complex passwords and they're really useful so generating a really complex password means it's going to be impossible for someone to try to you know break or crack that password on your system and you're it's very difficult because you're not going to remember them anyway so if you can use those with some sort of password manager it's going to be very useful for you anyway that is 10 useful free websites you must know about and use in 2021 very useful websites indeed they can save you a lot of time and also a lot of money. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.